Patients usually leave the hospital five to seven days after DBS surgery. And are advised to do light activities for at least two weeks after their operation. They should take their same PD medications as before surgery, consume the same consistency of diet unless instructed otherwise, and take enough fluids, fruits and vegetables to prevent constipation. Patients are encouraged to continue their normal activities as much as possible and do low-impact exercises such as walking, tai chi and stretching regularly. They should not carry heavy objects or perform activities that could damage the neurostimulator or the connecting wire. Patients should call the PD doctor or nurse or visit the emergency department if they experience any of these symptoms. Blurring of vision, loss of speech, weakness in arms or legs, difficulty swallowing or seizures. Patients should follow the surgical team's instructions and keep all the wounds clean and dry. Do not touch or scratch the wound. Do not apply ointment, lotion or powder unless instructed by your doctor and do not run or swim. Check your temperature if you feel unwell. Inform the surgeon or PD nurse if your temperature is 38 degrees Celsius and above. Inform the surgeon or PD nurse if there are any signs of wound infection such as redness, warmth, pain, swelling, oozing or if the wound starts to split. Mr. Tan's DBS system is turned on and programmed about one month after the surgery. He must stop taking his PD medication 12 hours before the appointment so the team can find the optimal stimulation setting for him. The programming is done as an outpatient procedure at the Neurodiagnostic Laboratory. This process takes four to five hours. Mr. Tan's PD medications may be adjusted once the setting is fixed. He needs to attend regular follow-up appointments and further fine-tuning may be required. Mr. Tan or his caregiver may be allowed to adjust the settings within limits set by his programming team. He must also check the DBS battery life every month. Non-rechargeable batteries last on average of 3 to 6 years. Rechargeable batteries can last up to 15 years and must be recharged at least once a week. The neurostimulator needs to be replaced when the battery life is ending. Patients should always carry their DBS implant card Show the card to security staff when traveling and request a manual check. Magnets can turn off and damage the DBS system. Do not place electrical or magnetic devices near your neurostimulator, connecting wires or head. MRI scans and medical procedures such as a diathermy can affect the DBS device. Check with your PD doctor or nurse before having these tests or procedures. Your neurostimulator will need to be turned off before the procedure and turned on again after the procedure. DBS should help you live better with PD by controlling your symptoms, but it is not a cure. So, you should continue with your PD rehabilitation and monitor for symptoms. Take your medications as advised. Attend all your hospital appointments. And spend time with family and friends.